is PMS normal? Is PMS normal? This is something that I come across really, really frequently, just about every day, when we talk about different hormonal issues, symptoms, things like that, and how your body shifts and changes throughout the month. Now, having PMS, premenstrual syndrome, this is a very common thing, but just because something's common doesn't mean it's normal, right? Just because a lot of people suffer from a PMS doesn't mean that it's normal. Oftentimes what PMS is, is symptoms that your body's telling you something is shifting, changing off, and you are not shifting and changing your lifestyle, how you're eating, how much rest you're getting, all of those things in alliance with what's happening in your system. So here is a really quick, right, uh, rough description of what's happening throughout your hormonal cycle, right? Estrogen <clears throat> is higher here in the first couple of weeks, and then progesterone increases here in the second couple of weeks. Now, because especially leading up to when your period would start or the end of the cycle, the last three, five, seven days, for some people it's even longer, what happens hormonally is very different than what's happened previously. And because progesterone is very different, your system is actually gonna need more nutrient, more fat, more protein, more minerals. It's gonna need more rest. It's gonna need longer recovery time at night with sleep, um, with workouts, all that stuff. You're gonna have a different stress response. Again, these things aren't bad. It's just acknowledge that you are living in a different body at this time. And with still trying to push yourself or expecting the same thing out of your body as it was over here leads to some type of depletion, which then leads to a lot of different symptoms. So for example, a lot of times people will say things like, oh, if you crave chocolate, you're deficient in magnesium which is a mineral, <laughs> right? We've heard these things before where we're like, oh my gosh, that totally makes sense. Oh yeah, I guess that does kind of connect now that this or this would be happening. I'm having mood swings. I'm having, you know, a lot of other problems there. Your system will have to shift and change in hormone and is trying to prepare for that. That also puts a lot of pressure and stress on your liver and your digestive system to help with that hormonal change over. And if your liver or your gut is not up to par, right, not keeping up with everything, it can kind of feel you got hit by a truck. It can feel like that, hit by a hormone truck. A lot of times women will also experience increasing urination or um, sometimes people call them period poops. <laughs> Where you're like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's happening here. Why am I going to the bathroom so much? Because your body is trying to keep up with the shift and change in hormone. Normal, normal response, normal response, yeah. These are things that absolutely happen, right? So if you are experiencing really debilitating PMS, if it disrupts your day, disrupts your lifestyle, you cannot continue with things. Um, for some people, you know, and this is very different than just than PMDD. That is a whole different ball game. But just having PMS, you, it's normal to feel like my body is, is different. My body is responding a little differently right now. Okay, that is fine. That is normal to feel like it interrupts your day or to feel like you cannot continue or reach your health goals because of what your body is doing during this time frame is not normal. It is not normal. And it would be time to take a look at how to eat for your hormones in your cycle, how to align all of your lifestyle things with your cycle so that you can get the most out of your hormone changes. I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution, which are on Amazon. I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. And you can subscribe to all these things to stay updated on all the information I have coming out. So make sure you let me know if you have any questions. I do check comments, so go below this video to leave me a comment. If you're not comfortable leaving a comment, you can always message me privately with a question. I do answer questions as well. So let me know if you need anything else. Otherwise, make sure you are on the wait list for the next program. I am running the Female Hormone Solution Program. I cap the program. We only take a certain number of women in this, uh, in this program each time we run it. So make sure you're on the wait list if you wanna learn more about it.